former speechwriter for President Bush, how important it was for Sarah Palin to get the tone of that big speech right. Indeed it is. Michael Gerson talking to Emily Maitlis. Well, U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney is in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, tonight, fresh from a trip to Georgia. He expressed American support, as you'd expect, for the beleaguered government of President Saakashvili. But in Ukraine, the government is practically at breaking point. The country is at a critical juncture in deciding which direction to face, to the West and NATO, or to the east in Russia. Jim Fish reports. prepared to go ahead and form a new government now, after opposition leader Morgan Changarai dismissed an ultimatum to sign a power-sharing deal. Heidi Holland, a South African journalist and author, she's written extensively about Robert Mugabe, about the power struggle going on. Many times, um, um, only a few months ago, in fact, can I, what do you think? Has he, has he um, outplayed Morgan Changarai in these talks that have been going on over the last few uh, weeks? Put, put him, boxed him into a corner? The political stalemate in Zimbabwe. We've got a lot more up ahead. Let's take a look. Rescue workers in India are still struggling to evacuate people stranded in the flood-ravaged northern state of Bihar. You're watching BBC World News, a reminder of the headlines now. After U.S. Vice Presidential... The Canada. British Airways Boeing 777, which crash-landed just short of the runway at London's Heathrow Airport in January, was probably brought down by ice blocking its fuel system. That's according to an interim report by air accident investigators. A lucky escape indeed for the 136 passengers and 16 crew on board. The BBC's transport correspondent Tom Simons reports.